What's up, everybody? Since I'm here today, we're gonna be looking at the Whomping Willow set. Um, now let's get right on to the figures. First, we have Harry Potter. He comes with a new wand piece that could be stuck in stick out that can um, stick out of the hand. Um, there's his. Uh, scar right there. Um, nice torso printing. Really like this flannel. I use it for my sig fig. There's the back to face. Now let's get on to the next figure. Oh, sorry about that. Now we have Ron Weasley. He has some pretty nice torso printing, which Harry comes with a dark brown one. He comes with a normal brown one. More of like a s stick color. Um, here's the back, the face and the torso. Um, there's the head, and now I want to actually compare this real quick with the old wand. So here's an old wand. I just want to compare it with him because he has the same colored wand so all right so here's the wand right now the two different ones which this one can can be pushed forward but not as good as that one and this one is like from the um <clears throat> the two different dimensions packs um uh, so yeah, let's go on to the next figure. Next up, we have Filch, um, which his hair, I feel like, would be better if it was Dumbledore's, but that's just a tiny little nitpick. Which also, here's what the hair looks like. It's not dual molded, so kind of shows through. There's top of the head. This is new for 2018. The um, lantern piece comes in two pieces. But just the lantern is is new for the year this year 2019. This is not new. This is a new piece. But you just push that in. I'm just gonna leave that out first right now. Um, he's got the keys and belt. And there's the back of the torso. There's the back of the head. I don't know if I asked this question, but where's Miss Norris? I mean, like, I feel like she should have been in here. But uh, yeah, next figure is Severus Snape. He comes with the wand in black. His torso really matches up with those legs really nicely. Now the back of the face, it's kind of, I, it's, I'm kind of iffy of it. It looks nice, but I think he should have more like a mad face, but like almost crying. Because that's what he kind of looks like in this movie. But yeah, just a nitpick. Time for the next figure. Next is Seamus, and he is a pretty nice figure. I don't think this hairpiece works. That head is from the Jurassic, the only Jurassic Park set of, um, for right now. There's, um, it's all, it's also a Walmart exclusive, so, and I don't go Walmart that much, so I'll probably never get it, but, uh, which is sad, because it's the only one. But they might make one another down the line. This hairpiece, I don't think, really works for him. But, um, it could be like when he explodes something on accident. Time for the last figure. And that is Hermione Granger. Um, she has this cool hairpiece. Um, nice face printing. Here's a back of the face with the hair. She comes with this light tan one just like Seamus. Now let's get on to the set. All right. Um. So my studio just fell, so I just took a little break for a little while. I know it seemed like I didn't, but yeah, my studio broke. Everything was on the floor. Well, I mean, like these tables were fine that have the set on them, but these two tables just got knocked over and like. 
So yeah, I just had to clean all of that up. It took me, it took me actually a little while, um, to do, but um, yeah, it's all fine. But that just kind of made me mad because I've been trying to do this video for so long. So um, yeah, let's get on to the actual set. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is the Weasley's car. You could put the figures in, you gotta take Ron's wand out, or he won't really fit in this and take Harry's, but look. They, um, hold on. Oh, I can't find my old one, but yeah, so they have to fit like that. Which I really do not like that. But yeah. And then there's another thing about the actual Whomping Willow. Those like little leaf pieces, they're not stable enough. So you can fit the car in there pretty nicely, which gotta be. Yep, see? One already fell off. Oh, there goes the other. Alright. So what you could do with this, so kind of bring it back a little bit, is you could turn it like this. There's also the entrance to the shrieking shack at the bottom. I'm gonna move this out of the way, which I hope. I think they're making more next year. Um, next year they um, make a shrieking shack, which they could put on. Same thing I said about the. Serious black for the um for the Hogwarts Express. I hope they make serious black. But yeah, okay, so let's move this out of the way. You can see that there's the hole and you can hold on. And you can actually put a minifigure in there. Um, and then they just come out of the bottom. Alright. So now let's get on to the set. I'm gonna look at this in Sections is what I'm going to do. So first we're going to look at the potions lab. Here's the outside. Turn around. Um, there's like these cauldrons. A mixer. Green stuff in here. And looks to be a Bunsen burner. There's some stickers including some like wizards. And then yeah. And then there's like potions and stuff back there. All of course. Let's get on to the next one. Which comes off, which is is half of the potions lab, half of the Gryffindor common room. So I'm just gonna add this on, cause yeah, these are meant to do this. You could rearrange them however you would like. Okay, so um, here's the other part of the um, potions lab, and then there's. Gryffindor, the Gryffindor common room, which you could fit two figures on each of those um, beds right there. Wow, Ron, really? Okay. There you go, and then on the top, there you uh, there's Hedwig, and then that, and then back down to the floor level I'm gonna take one out here these beds can easily come off like this so it's not that hard to take them off and then there's a sticker up there for Gryffindor flag and then back there there's some more stickers and potions and there's also a broom and right here there's a frog for like Dissecting or dissecting or something. So yeah, there's that from the outside. Now, here's the rest of it. Here is um, the little car way to drive out the enchanted car, and then here's Snape's office, which you can actually easily take out these, which is. is it's like something from Wimgardium Leviosa. The boy who lived. 
a, a quiver and a lamp. And then in there you can also, so and then there's a lamp, there's some like tools right here, an axe, and then there's of course some potions back there, and there's also these lamps. And now, um, let me just connect all of this, because I'm going to show you how the different ways to connect this to the Great Hall set. Alright, so we have the Great Hall set back here, and what you can do is take these pins and either connect it right here, which is the way that I showed in the um, Great Hall review, or you... here, hold on. I'm going to move the studio real quick. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to do this. So you can either connect it this way, which I showed in the Hogwarts Castle, or you can connect it to this side, so um, you can connect it. Oh wow, see the connecting them is kind of hard. I'm going to turn it around this way, and I'm going to come over here so you can connect it right there. So, as you can see, you could connect it over there, get a different kind of look, or you could do how they show you to connect it. Sorry about that. Alright. So you can...